Well, another day is upon us. We are going to try again after yesterday's botched attempt at getting up early for sunrise. We didn't get up for sunrise this morning. We have something a lot more special in store for you. But in the meantime, here's KAL Super Heavy on his north downwind for the south runway. It's a good way to start it. Very cold out here, my hands are shivering. Another news, and this is also not the exciting news I have for you, I'm going to save that for another moment later. American Airlines Shiny McNot So 767 hath brought the Steelers here. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Interesting items on the landmark ramp. Sunday naming ritual for a whole different animal. I believe I might have tried to name this before, but I can't remember, so we will rename it. This is Jane. Jane. Jane Doe. Isn't that the most brilliant name you've heard me come up with in recent days? All right, naming ritual complete. Jane Doe is sitting at the ready as KAL Super Heavy is coming in behind me. Jane, you need to actually start getting yourself going here. Because I'm going to have to turn around and look at the Super in a minute. Let's do this. All right, Jane Doe. Oh, you are not anonymous or an unknown individual. You are actually named Jane Doe, for you are a Doe by the name of Jane. A bit redundant, but we have to do that in order to remember the name that we have doled out during the naming rituals. If we repeat the name multiple times, it becomes easier. So Jane Doe, Jane Doe, Jane Doe, Jane. Off to somewhere else, I don't know, Jane Doe. The song was stupid, but it will help me remember. All right, let's uh, transfer responsibility here. Oh, and there's the super heavy. No overhead for me this morning. No thank you, darling. I do appreciate the offer, though. I have bigger fish to fry this morning. You do look pretty majestic. It's kind of foggy or hazy out here. I guess haze would be the most appropriate way to describe it. Fog would produce vapor. Haze produces nothing but bad imagery. So this qualifies as, oh, ha ha, hedgehog. This qualifies as haze. We can't even see her. She's backlit and hazy. Oh, boysies. The backlittery is strong with this one, as is the haze. Look at it, please. Nice. I can't even see you. What a backlit world you live in down there on the south side, isn't it? Well, we still appreciate your presence. Just a machine without a soul. KAL 35 Super Heavy on his way in for an entanglements and shaky camera work. And away with you. A biz jet approaches. I bet it's beach jetty. It looks beach jetty. Oh no, it's Lear Jetty! Even better Lear! Alright, fuck yeah, let's go, baby! November 611 Foxtrot X-Ray. Oh, Grody, I'm sorry. The Reginald's blocking you. Listen up, mister. Stop that shit. It's no wonder somebody gave you a black eye. It's probably because you got in the way of them and their target. Punch you right in the face. Okay, we're gonna have to pass through the black-eyed Reginald. Just close your eyes. Here we go. Yeah, that's a good rapid acceleration there. I like to see. All right, baby. How about a quick rotation and a violent one? Let's do it. November 611, Foxtrot X-Ray away! Oh yeah, he's gonna do it for me. He really is. Yes, he did. Wasn't as violent or aggressive as I'd like, but he might have businessmen on board. Powerful businessmen. They might not like the aggressive rotation, so, you know, gotta do it for passenger comfort. Oh, and a FedEx! FedEx 441 outbound to Memphis. This is a very nice treat. A special treat today. Let's see how full he is. We know FedEx will execute an aggressive rotation if he is very light. We've seen it before. Let's hope we see it again. 
Are you full of cargo, sir? Are you gonna give me that show? The next 441! Heavy! Oh yeah! Light! And pretty fucking aggressive! I like it! Oh yeah, rocket ship it! Rocket ship! Rocket ship all the way to Memphis. I suppose this was inevitable. Another spirit and business casual 8-bit graphics, Caucasian nose, and jacked up engine cowling with party on it. Oh, well thanks for the blockage, Delta. I do appreciate that. We were gonna look at his spirit. Oh, Spirit of Cancun! Yes, I guess that would make you the spirit of high school seniors going on their senior trip to get blasted on tequila. That's the spirit that you represent? Unabated, unabashed, binge drinking by 18 year olds who have just graduated high school? Oh, yeah. Whatever, spirit. Get your evil out of here. You know, every year, some of them dumbass 18-year-old kids fall off balconies and kill themselves because they're so damn drunk on your stupid tequila out of Cancun. Ah, it's a banner tower. It looks like a Geico banner tower. Well, fuck you, Geico. Take your damn Geico gecko and get a new marketing campaign. Get a new one because it sucks. Your banner sucks, and so does your insurance. What are you doing, trying to convince the people that are going to the Falcons game to buy your goddamn product? Well, I tell you what, I don't know if that's going to help. I do not think that's going to help your, your business cause. Hey, did you see that Geico banner? Hey, let's go shop for insurance. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more. Blah! Oh, well look, he saw Wester's wearing his new clothes for church on this Sunday morning. Good job, Sal Wester. Let's take a look at your passengers if we have time. Make sure they're all happy because we know they don't have assigned seating. It was a free-for-all, I'm sure. Although we like the new livery, we still hate your no seating assignment policy and feel it can cause altercations between your poverty-stricken passengers. It's okay, let's not rag on old Sal West because he's got his new new tire on, new livery, good, good looking new clothes. So we are obligated to catch at him. We have spotted him and we will continue to spot him until we stop spotting. I spot you right there, Sal Wester, at your rotation point. Thank you very much for the new clothing. And I hope you have a pleasant remainder of your day. Okay, headed from the east, due west. I want to see Emirates on your belly. I don't see Emirates on your belly. It said your Emirates on flight radar, but your belly doesn't say your Emirates. What's what what gives? You're obviously a triple seven. I mean, I can tell that from here. Where are you going on this uh, Sunday afternoon, guy? Where are you headed? Oh, yes. Maybe it's an Emirate sperm wagon. Had to make a quick stop to the Renaissance Hill to figure out who these backlit beauties are. Well, we know who that one is. That's Pittsburgh Steelers American. But these guys look like they're getting ready to go somewhere. And this tail number is not showing on flight aware. Oh shit, what should we do? I can get some front litter if I get this over there on the Diplomats Club. We stop for a moment to take in the shiny McShine 763 dubs. A sight I have never seen in my life, so. It's a shame we couldn't stick around longer, but I'm starting to get nervous. This unknown boy's getting ready to go. Oh, holy fuck, what is this? I turn my head and I see a fucking MD-11 coming in on the south side backlit. Who in the name of shit do you belong to? Are you a sperm wagon? I can't tell because of backlittery. What in the devil? What in the devil are you? I am human tripod and fucking it up. Oh, surprises! Try hole! 
triholer, triholer, triholer. Oh, holy fuck. Where the hell is he going? It is a sperm wagon triholer. Jesus! Is he a member of the Southside Cargo Brigade? Oh, he looks like he is. Oh, snap! Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. What a surprise. Jesus Christ of Latter Day. All sorts of stuff is suddenly beginning to happen here. All sorts of excitement. The totally surprise sperm wagon MD-11 that just taxied to the South Cargo Ramp can't be identified by either flight aware or flight radar. I'm just looking to see recent arrivals, and he is not showing. In other news, we are still awaiting the Sperm Wagon 76 that we saw at Landmark. And in still other news, there's an even bigger surprise I have for you on this day. An aircraft that I have never borne witness to, at least in flight. It is an Eastern Bloc or Warsaw Pact aircraft. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? Well, you're going to have to, or stay tuned and find out next. Well, now that a sperm wagon triholer is in play, this 767 sperm wagon is kind of in jeopardy. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know how long to wait this guy out before I go about investigating the trihole sperm wagon. Now we have lost patience with the sperm wagon on the north side, the sperm wagon 76. And we have come to the south side in investigation of the trihole sperm wagon. In the meantime, an inbound chopper is coming our way. I guess that's redundant, as inbound also means coming our way. Joining us right now, we have Bobby and Chase. Bobby suggests I should tell you that the Sperm Wagon MD-11 is actually Western Global. Do you have a tail number for me to provide the viewers with? Yes, I do. Bobby? One second. Okay. Now come on, Bobby. Come on, son. I'll tell you what. November you need to be... 543, Julia November. Julia. Okay, Juliet. Julia. Oh, yeah. She's toiling over there. It is a Jet Ranger, though, which means it's an acceptable alternative to the Robinson. It's actually the antithesis of the Robinson. All good people fly the Jet Ranger. Bad people fly the Robinson. And I think he's going to come straight across. He was probably, well, no, now he, maybe he's a copper chopper looking for a hoodlum down there. Now, Bobby wanted me to spot him on Christmas, but instead I spot him right now. And United Continental. Bringing us all the glory of birds of different feathers. I believe it's it said day three twenty guys. Oh, they can't hear me. There's an engine noise for you though. All right, the narration's beginning, Bobby. Okay, Matt. So keep your racist comments to yourself. Do -do 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 so we have switched gears once again. We paid three dollars to visit the south parking deck and see a Bell Jet Ranger helicopter. Then realize that the Sperm Wagon 76 is actually Ruby 729 headed to Portland, Oregon and it was on the move. So we had to rush to catch it. And here it is. Bobby mobilized everybody and got us moving. Oh, we got some more spotters here. They got 747 hands on. Oh, hey, Johan! Johan! All right, Johan and Carlos! Hurry, up. hurry, hurry! Come hurry. here now! Oh, they know. Okay, if they're aware, <laughs> fire. They're aware. It's rolling. Okay, now back to realidad. <laughs> As Johan would say, realidad. Un avione blanca. He's just gonna like pull up right there. Oh, he might roll longer than I thought. Get out of the way, you stupid mad dog. Oh, he's up. Uh, there's a lot of stank air hey, out there. Oh, sweet! Oh, got to love the taste of Milky White Sperm Wagon as he departs Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Maynard, Jackson Maynard Maynard International Airport. Wow! We're full of crazy scores today, and you ain't even seen the main course yet. I not even told you. Sal Western. 
in special livery, believe it to be Colorado. Now at the Sky Meadow where our final goal will be accomplished. I have yet to reveal what that final goal is for you. You'll have to stay tuned and find out next. Is that Colorado? What the hell is this? Bobby, what is it? Colorado. Don't look like no Colorado. I don't see that. Oh, now I see it. It's the big C. Good job, Southwester. Thank you. This is what I have been keeping you in suspense for all day long. It is a Volga Antonov AN-124, currently over New York City, more or less, and an hour and a half away from my downwind. Can you imagine the overhead? Can you? Holy fuck, Jaws. We have probably getting bird warnings. Right? so many grackles out here. I think they just divided into two flocks. There goes one down OTP, and then there's another one over here, staying inside the perimeter and nestling into those trees. So hopefully, God willing, we'll witness a bird strike. Oh my God, it's the sperm wagon mad dog! Or not mad dog, try hole! Try holer, try holer, try holer. Wow. Oh, what a day! Oh God. Oh yes, he's light! Chase, he's gonna be light! We're gonna see him soon! Yeah! All right! Now we're talking sperm wagon, baby. Oh, glory. I'm out of breath from the excitement. Holy shitballs. Had Bobby not gone to the crest of the hill with his mother, to do reconnaissance, we would never have known Sperm Wagon Trihole was about to leave. This is a uh, 764, I believe? Yes? Yes. Delta 131 out of Munich. And, uh, whew. Boy, gotta relax. That was a, that was an exciting moment. Thank you so much. Holy cow, holy cow. And the way he was so light, too, made it very easy to catch the rotation. What did I tell you? He was full. You said he was full, but you were wrong, Bobby. You were all wrong. 764! And away. Now we're in quality focus. This qualifies as quality. And we have a Delta A330 arriving on short final to runway 27 left as Bobby and Chase have gone to check out a bridge from which Chase plans to shoot the Volga's arrival. And A330 comes down to risk. Blickety blickety blah. You didn't want to give me overhead and now you don't want to focus? Oh, don't worry. I got a Ukrainian gal coming. She's going to give it to me. Volga is in range. In route, we just pray we get to see it on this runway and under it. Oh, I see. Oh my. Oh yes! Alright, get ready, here we go. The Ukrainian has arrived and yes, DiGiorno, I'm calling it Ukrainian. It may have a Russian crew and a Russian airline, but this is a Ukrainian designed aircraft that I've never seen before. Holy shit! Holy shit. Oh, look at the guy behind him. I keep that in focus. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wowzers. Oh god, yes! Boy, he is diving. He is diving. Oh, birds? Cool. Damn, he's diving. Look at him dive. Unless that's his standard descent angle. Oh, my. I'm not sure if he's been cleared or not. Oh, God! The Ukrainian giant about to deliver overhead straight to me and Bobby and Bobby's mom. 
Chase is going to get just a little bit of, you know, elbow rubbing from the bridge, but nah, he's not getting off, but he'll get some. My sweet Jesus! He has been cleared and he looks brilliant. I'd never seen this Ukrainian masterpiece before. Oh my God! Oh my God! Let's not do this. Oh my God! DiGiorno, he keeps texting me and ruining what I wanted to do. Oh, I was trying to play the Seinfeld clip with uh, Ukraine being a sitting duck, but that audio is going to suck, but who cares? Oh, sweet Jesus, I've never seen such a thing. I'm throwing my phone on the ground as hard as I can because I'm tired of the noises that it is making. I want to hear this. Let's listen. sorts of folks up here against the fence. Successfully. Now, Volga can never will more than likely spend the night here. Looks like the gate 59 folks were nice today. That's not the big fat ones that we dealt with last time. Wow! Look at that! I'm sorry, what? Okay, I'm sorry. Have a good one. And there was the fat one that I referred to earlier. The fat one. I couldn't tell if that was a woman or a man. Either way. Hey, I can take a picture. How about video? My God, I have never had such a productive day at Hartsfield Maynard Jackson Maynard Jackson Hartsfield Jackson International Aero Puerto. But today just happened to be one of those days. And the tradition continues as we capture an Aero Mexico 788 out of JFK to Mexico City that we usually see every day around this time. Well, how about it, sir? Now we've seen a 787 too. My God, what a day. I'm pretty worn out and lack patience. So, I might be getting feisty soon. You saw me get feisty with that security guard. I usually just turn around and walk away, but I got feisty. Oh, yes. Delta 94, I've been feisty today. Thank you for coming. You make me feel good. Don't you ever think I'll be feisty towards you? Hey, DiGiorno! DiGiorno arrives, like, at the end of the day that all of the chaos has happened. And I mean chaos in a good way. Excitement would probably have been a better word. But like I said, I'm tired. Farewell, Delta 94. Farewell. Fantastic. So that means we need the Falcons game to end. 
which is why we see this blimp in oh, yeah. the air in I'll the first place, right which is it's also over, why... Yes, check it. That'll that is why good. our 7-6 is there. That'll be a good north oh, line. dude! They've already got the air stairs and everything lined up on the American 7-6. They must be getting ready to end. Check out the game. Check out the status. It's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's still it, going... It was a 1 o'clock start. Oh, it's a 1 o'clock start? Yes. Oh, oh looky, looky, looky. I believe it to be Iberian, A340, 600, that's a new livery, I think. Uh, it's, Wait, it's no, maybe it's the old. Does it have a no, it just has the IB. Oh, then that's the new, It's, uh, the, it's old. the old, the classic. Wow, we are in business. What a bunch of things we have captured today. Oh, Challenger, not a Reg. He looks like a Reg, but he's actually a biz jet that is desirable. Don't want to look like a Reg. It's like a, you know, have, being a hot girl, but like putting on all sorts of stupid makeup and looking all ugly on purpose. Same basic principle here. Real good looking this jet, but looks like a reg from afar, so you don't even want to approach it. Shame, crying shame. So DiGiorno is going to go have a look at Antonov, get yelled at by that same fat woman or man security guard that gave me the business. Okay, what kind of activity do we have for the Pittsburgh Steelers, who I believe were victorious over our hapless Atlanta Falcons. We basically just let other NFL teams come in here and rape our Falcons. In exchange, they bring us aircraft like this. Pretty good deal for us, really. Oh, you wanna go rape the Falcons? Go ahead! Do it as many times as you like, as hard as you like. Just make sure you bring us a cool aircraft. Like United Continental 764, or Shiny McNaught 763 Dubs. Hawker, that's right. Now, this Hawker can get on out of here, I'd be real happy. I don't have to sit here and waste any more precious battery power. Oh, whistleblower! It's been so long! Where is he? Who's he blowing the whistle on? Is it a lady whistleblower? Ooh. Yeah, she's laying down the law! And all the while, Hawker, not Hawkery, sits idle for some reason. We don't know. There we go. Oh, he's throttling up and not moving. Now he goes, oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, good, good. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. I like it when they do that. They throttle up with the parking brakes on and then accelerate almost like a carrier launch. Oh, you better rotate aggressively, sir. Make Hawkery proud. Do it. Seems kind of heavy. Oh, yes, that's okay, okay, okay. I give it about a seven, or maybe a six, I'm sorry, a six out of one to ten. And look at the MetLife blimp, wants to overfly the Hartsfield Manor, doesn't he? Fucking airships, airships are so stupid. If there's one form of aviation I absolutely hate, it's airships. Hot air balloons, I guess, are tolerable if you're gonna propose to your, you know, girlfriend or some shit, but, you know. Come on. Airships, please. Are you gonna call my ATC or you're just gonna fly over like you own the place, airship? Looks like some guy on a bicycle underneath pedaling as hard as he can to make those propellers go. So lame airships are. Well, it appears we are getting a direct flyover by the MetLife blimp. Wowzers! Slower than molasses. The man in there is pedaling real hard to make those propellers go around. That way it moves. And it gets blustered around quite a bit. Jesus, I've never seen one fly straight over the field like this. Just another addition to this crazy day. You in here pedaling, guy? Pedal it hard. Pedal hard. Better get out of here. They're causing a distraction to all of the real pilots. Are you football players? You play in the NFL? Oh my god! Did you come here to rape our Falcons? Oh, yes you did. I bet you those are it, football players. Came here to rape the Falcons in exchange for bringing me a beautiful airplane. Well, good deal, guys. Anytime you want to do that, you just let me know. Well, holy shit! Continued contrailing! Speedbird on his way from London to Mexico City, and I just jerked too much and lost it. Where'd he fucking go? I'll get him back. Reacquisition, reacquire. Speedbird 747, 
contrailing all over my face! United Continental 738. Not quite in good focus. There we go. Wait a minute, what is this? Is this a Scott team? That's not United, where's United? What is this? Oh, it is, oh, Star Alliance! Oh my, wow! In keeping with today's glorious tradition of rarity and extravaganzas, we have borne witness to United Continentals, or actually just Uniteds, we'll respect it on this one, a Star Alliance. The arch nemesis of the Sky Team, but we love them anyway, for they are bird of different feather. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah. Wow. And let's hope we don't Cinco slam this poor bastard, because I did try to take adequate measures. I'm not sure if I was good enough, though. Oh, he's going to hurt himself. Yeah, he got a little bruised. He's going to be just fine. Star Alliance, rock and or roll. Yes, another bird of different feather in Exotica. Speaking of Exotica, where's Shiny McNotSoShine767? The air stairs are still hooked up. Damn, you're taking forever, Pittsburgh Steelers. God! I believe I will be Cinco slamming you, sir, for I was not prepared. Wow. Looks like an older King Air. Maybe even a Queen. No little turboprop winglets, just uh, three windows and then the door window. It's a small boy. But a good catch. Hey, if you guys run into the Steelers, we tell them to fucking hurry up over there on landmark ramp, because I've about had it. Oh, you're dead. Well, let's catch you alive. Your resurrection. There it is, resurrected. King or Queen Air, resurrected. And I hate to say this, so I'm gonna have to sink or slam you too. I'm just not set up. If I took the time to set up right now, I wouldn't be able to get you at all, so you know. It's okay, just a little bit of pain. Real quick. Like a pinprick. Just a pinprick on your giraffe neck. Actually, I don't think we've even gotten a 753 today, have we? Well, I hope that you enjoy it. And I need to check my memory stick, see how much memory I have left. How much more can I remember? Stay tuned and find out next. And Cinco Slam. And Resurrection. Good. FedEx 502, the constant presence around 5 o'clock in the afternoon is bringing yet another 767 for us. As he is taking part in the 767 parade, much like we hope the Pittsburgh Steelers would do, but we might have to abandon them, for there is something even more special coming. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. A grand of grandest finales. Centurion Air Cargo 744. Scheduled to arrive in the next 30 minutes. Likely at the Sky Meadow, but what do I do? Stay here and wait for those fucking Steelers to get on board their airplane, fasten their seatbelts, taxi out, and take off, or get a little bit more foreign overhead. I just don't know what to do. I have no idea. No idea. I did know to take Cinco Slam avoidance measures for FedEx though, so. Hey, Sky Team, here to combat the Star Alliance. Wow. All right, all right, Steelers, where the fuck are you? Oh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Nice of you to fucking join us. A little bit tardy, are we? Come on, guys. Quit dicking around. After you rape my Falcons, the deal was get back on your airplane and get out of here. Get on it! Hey, FedEx, that's pretty cool. Look at that. FedEx and American. And Mad Dog Photobomb. In gorgeous lighting, front lit all around. The United Continental 737 700 will be departing. Yes, another rare tie around these parts. I know those of you who live in Continental or United communities would find this very boring, very monotonous, but to us it is exotic, as the theme of today is Exotica. 
Pittsburgh Steelers need to get their exoticas moving and get the fuck on out of Dodge here. The sun is setting. Monday is on the horizon, but we got two more catches. Two more very, very, very special catches before we can call it a day. In the interim, United Continental 73770. Oh, God. Look at all the birds frolicking. What a great way to round out the day! Oh, I see where DiGiorno is, okay. Oh, wowzers! Oh, boysies. I was just tired of paying $3 an hour for parking, waiting on those lollygagging Pittsburgh Steelers. Isn't that Roethlisberger on that team? Roethlisberger, isn't he a rapist? And a dumbass who doesn't wear a helmet when he rides his motorcycle? Wowzers. Wow, I have never seen this in my life either. What a day! Oh, what a day. I'll tell you what, if there is one thing that helps keep the Sunday grumpies away, it is a day full of Raritai and Exotica. That is certainly what we have had on this Sunday. And here comes one more bit of Exotica just for you to wet your whistle with. Oh man, it's like one of those uh, cargo operators out of South America or something. It's radical. DiGiorno's yelling at me. I don't know what he's yelling for. I have to maintain laser focus on this. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh baby. There's DiGiorno. We've returned for the Pittsburgh Steelers so they can fulfill their end of the bargain in exchange for raping the dirty bird. And we find ourselves looking at the same King Air we saw just a few minutes ago, it seems. I'm Tripodless, I'm Human Tripod. Oh, he's up quick. There's Shiny McNaught So Shy, 763 dubs with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hopefully. Hey, whistleblower! Where are you? Man, she is fierce. She is ruthless. Damn it! It's still just sitting there. It's strobes are on and everything. It's just not going anywhere. Damn it, Steelers! Sit down in your seats. I know you're excited because you got to rape the dirty birds. Everyone does. Doesn't mean you can't sit down fast in your fucking seat belt, put your seat backs and tray tables in the upright and locked position, and get the fuck out of my town. I think I'll be a FedEx here to keep us amused during the interim. FedEx A300. What a wonderful surprise. Don't know his flight number, but we assume the origin is Memphis. The sun has just now set below the horizon. And the bluster is now even chillier than before. We're hoping for some shiny McNaught so shine to warm our hearts before we begin another long and tedious work week. Ooh, birds! Please give me a bird strike. Oh man! I'm telling you, one day I'm gonna inadvertently catch a bird strike and it's gonna be great. I'm starting to run low on battery power. This is not good down to my last bar. Oh, he's, thank God, Shiny McShine, or I'm sorry, Shiny McNot so Shine, rather. He's taxiing. The Steelers are taxiing. Yay. You can see how frazzled I am because I keep calling him McShine. Regardless, FedEx, thank you so much for all you do. A retro jet would be nice. Just saying, how about it? I'm just paying up a retro jet. I mean, seriously. Why not do it, you know? It means if it's going to cost a whole lot of money to paint one airplane in your retro jet scheme just to spice things up for guys like me. Oh, well. I'm not going to be a complainer, though. Just a suggestion. Do you have a suggestion box I can put that in? 
Well, as long as you're happy in my box. At last, the Pittsburgh Steelers are leaving my fair city on board a sight I have never seen. Shiny, shiny McNutt so shine. 763 Doves. Wow! Took you long enough, didn't it, guys? What a day! Look at that beauty. Oh, that is so much better looking than any widget, any kind of Delta 767 parade member. So superior, so glorious. And what a great way to round out the day. I am shivering cold and mixing my words up, not knowing what I'm saying. Grody Spirit is also present. But look at the Pittsburgh Steelers and Shiny McNutt so shine. 763 Dogs, wrapping up one of the best days in Hartsfield memory. Seriously, I can't remember a day when I caught so much. It's great! Woohoo!